Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online YouTube channel. Until now, we have completed Laplace transformation. Now it's time to begin inverse Laplace transformation, and this is going to be lecture one on inverse Laplace transformation. So in this lecture, we will first discuss about the basic formulas related to inverse Laplace transformation and some basic numerical problems. And later, we will, as we proceed with this lecture, we will continue to get uh, discuss about some other type of question which are being asked in inverse laplace transformation so without any further delay let's get started guys if you are following the series which i am i have started on this channel you are already familiar with this formula if not i have provided a link in the this link of that lecture in the description uh, in which i have discussed about this formula you can have the look and for summary i am going to revise once again uh, to so, taking few minutes so first of all as we discuss about uh, as i start to discuss about the laplace transformation formula we have come to know that laplace transformation of one is one upon s Laplace transformation of t to the power n is n factorial upon s to the power n plus 1. Similarly, Laplace transformation of e to the power minus at is equal to 1 upon s plus a. Laplace transformation of e to the power at is 1 upon s minus a. How do you can you can notice the difference that uh, when we have exponential power negative, then we put here s plus a. Similarly, if we have power positive, then we put minus here. Similarly, in uh, sine at, we have a upon s square plus a square cos at uh, s upon s square plus a square and in hyperbolic, the positive sign gets converted to negative sign and other than that, uh, everything is same between the formula of trigonometric functions of sine and cos and there are some basic trigonometric formula which we have st already studied in class 9, 10 and plus 2 and uh, these formula are also very essential uh, for uh, doing numerical based upon the Laplace transformation that's why I have discussed about this formula in the, uh, uh, in the previous video and uh, now let's begin to discuss about the formula which we will need in the while solving the problem based upon the inverse Laplace transformation. So uh, inverse Laplace transformation is nothing just the opposite of Laplace transformation. Suppose we if we come to face any problem in which we are asked to find the inverse Laplace transformation of 1 upon s then we will directly write it as inverse Laplace transformation of 1 upon s is 1 and it is formula. So you need to re remember all this formula so that you will be able to solve any kind of numerical based upon the inverse Laplace transformation easily because uh, you need to command this formula and it is very essential. Similarly, inverse Laplace transformation of 1 upon s to the power n is t to the power n minus 1 upon n minus 1 factorial. You will notice that these formula are exactly the opposite of what we have studied in the Laplace transformation. So let me discuss some more formula here. Inverse Laplace transformation of a upon s square plus a square is similar simply sine a t as you will know that uh, this formula is uh, similar to this this is exactly opposite we have work on this portion now we are going to work on this portion and uh, we will uh, bring this change this form to this form that is what inverse laplace transformation stands for now uh, i have picked out some numerical problems which i am going to solve in this lecture so our first numerical problem is our first numerical problem is one p upon 2p square plus 8 so uh, what i would like to mention to mention to you guys is whenever we are solving any problem based upon the inverse laplace transformation or whether it is laplace transformation we have to uh, take some time to understand uh, in what form we are provided with uh, the numerator and num denominator we first of all we have to understand in what form numerator and denominator is provided provided and if possible we have to factorize the denominator so that are able to do that we will easily use the we can easily we will be able to use the formula easily uh, to get it converted into uh, this form so trigonometric function or, or exponential function then that will be easy so uh, if we uh, take into consideration of this problem so let's begin it writing solution and we are asked to find the inverse Laplace transformation of inverse Laplace transformation of p upon 2p square plus 8. 
now take into consideration see guys we uh, we have uh, till now we have come to know that we will be able to use this formula only if our s or uh, suppose our question is in the form of we are using uh, s from beginning so i am going to use here s also uh, in this problem also it won't create any problem because in some books you will find it mentioned at as s and in some places you will find it mentioned at p as p so it won't create any kind of confusion just you uh, do as it is because if we also change p then in inverse we on changing p we will write sin t or cos t or e to the power a t similarly if we change uh, s also we we have been using t so it won't create any kind of confusion now uh, inverse laplace transformation of s upon s square plus 8 2 s square plus 8 now uh, see here if we you are going about to use the formula then it is from the formula it is clear that uh, in s the con constant of s should be 1 means we have to remove 2 from here so for that reason we are going to take 2 common from denominator so we will have here inverse s upon s square plus 8 uh, and we are taking 2 common means 8 is 8 is 4 times 2 and we are we have taken 2 common so we will have here 4 remaining here so this is actually 1 upon 2 and inverse laplace transformation of s upon s square plus 2 square means s is s upon s square plus a square and if we are go, if we will use the formula then we will have here s upon s square plus a square inverse laplace transformation of s square plus a square is cos at cos at means 1 upon 2 times cos in place of a we have 2 here in place of a we have 2 here so cos 2t this is our solution of first numerical problem similarly we have second numerical problem as we have second numerical problem as 4 s plus 15 upon 16 s square minus 25 now once again if we have a closer look to our denominator we will come to know that in denominator we coefficient or coefficient of constant sorry i am saying coefficient constant of s will be must be unity for that reason what we will do we will take 16 common from here so i am going to write here solution write down here solution now inverse laplace transformation of 4s plus 15 upon 16 s square minus 25 will be equal to take 16 common from here so on taking 16 common we will have here inverse laplace transformation of 4s upon 4s plus 15 upon 16 times s square minus 25 upon 16 okay now what we will need to do we, uh, we have to split uh, split this numerator into two portion how we can do this see here inverse laplace transformation of write it inverse laplace transformation of 4s upon 16 times s square minus 25 upon 16 similarly plus inverse laplace transformation of 15 upon 16 times s square minus 25 upon 16 okay now let me first let me discuss about this portion this 25 upon 16 is actually 5 upon 4 whole square means a square in place of this we have s square minus a square and we have a equals to 5 upon 4 and we have here this 4 times 4 so we will have here 1 upon 4 times inverse laplace transformation of s upon s square minus 5 upon 4 whole square now and here we will have inverse laplace transformation of s square minus 
5 upon 4 whole square and use curly bracket because we have already used a small bracket now uh, here we have to write uh, in numerator we must we have to change it into the form of a upon a upon s square minus a square so in place of a 15 we have 15 so 15 means 5 times 3 upon 16 means 4 times 4 so we have here 4 we can write uh, bring write 5 by 4 times 3 5 by 4 times 3 15 is written as 5 times 4 and this 4 is written here and this divided by 4 times this so we will have here 1 upon 4 times s upon s square minus a square s upon s square minus a square we have the formula s upon s square minus a square is cos hyperbolic a t so cos hyperbolic a means 5 upon 4 t and plus inverse Laplace transformation of a upon this is multiplication by 3 so 3 by 4 will be taken here and inverse Laplace transformation of a upon a is 5 by 4 by a upon s square minus a square a upon s square minus a square is sine hyperbolic at so sine hyperbolic a means 5 upon 4 times t now guys if you guys have confusion how this 16 is re can be written this like this see here what i did we have 15 upon 16 so what i did i wrote it as 5 upon 3 upon 4 upon 4 and we can write it as 5 by 4 times 3 by 4 because we in numerator we have 4 by 3 and this 4 can be written as 1 upon 4 if we apply the law of reciprocal we can write this 4 as 1 upon 4 also because here nothing means 1 so we can do the reciprocal and this is larger division sign so one can one one of four upon one can be written as one upon four so this is the similar to what i did that's why and we need to write it as in the form of a a we have to bring a here and as it is a is five by four so we have to bring five by four here that's why i just split it 16 equals to four into four uh, four times four and uh, the, uh, and i use this formula now we have got the answer this is our final answer now let's move to second uh, another numerical now so our third numerical is question number three is 2s plus 6 upon s square plus 4 so i am going to write here solution and inverse laplace transformation we are solving inverse laplace transformation so inverse laplace transformation of s 2s plus 6 upon s square plus 4 will be equals to uh, inverse laplace transformation of 2s upon s square plus 4 plus inverse laplace transformation of 6 upon s square plus 4 why we are doing this we are why we are splitting the numerators because in if we have if we have a look to the our formula our formula in numerator in numerator we have one and single constant there is no any extra terms must split it into the we must split the numerator so that we will have separate terms and, and so that our calculation will become easier so again we are going to use here inverse lap two times inverse lap transformation of s is s upon s square plus 2 square plus inverse laplace trans 6 times inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon s square plus 2 square now uh, from if we are, if we move proceed according to formula we must have we have s square plus a square and in place of a we have one here so we must bring two here we must have two here because if we have we are going to use the formula we must have a upon s square plus a square and in place of a we have one here so either you can uh, write 6 as 2 times 3 and we need to bring 3 here so i am going to do that same thing 3 and 2 now we have a upon s square plus a square and we have s by s square plus a square so 
टू टाइम्स एस अपॉन एस स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर एस अपॉन एस स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर एस स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर इज कॉस ए टी सो कॉस ए टी प्लस थ्री टाइम्स ए अपॉन एस स्क्वायर प्लस ए स्क्वायर इज साइन ए टी सो थ्री टाइम्स साइन ए टी एंड दिस इज आवर आंसर दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री नाउ वी हैव वन मोर एग्जाम्पल रिमेनिंग इन दिस लेक्चर दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर एंड आवर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इज थ्री टाइम्स पी स्क्वायर माइनस वन अपॉन वन हॉल स्क्वायर अपॉन टू पी टू दी पावर फाइव नाउ गाइज दिस न्यूमेरिकल इज एज सिंपल दैन इट लुक्स दैन डिफिकल्टी इट लुक्स so guys this numerical is simpler than uh, difficult it looks so uh, what we will do here we will use the formula that is a minus b whole square in the numerator so inverse laplace transformation of 3 times p square minus 1 whole square upon 2 p to the power 5 will be equal to inverse laplace transformation of bring this 3 here so 3 times inverse laplace transformation of p minus 1 whole is p square minus 1 whole square is p square whole square minus 2 times 2a and b is 1 plus 1 upon 2p to the power 5 now once again we will split the numerators so 3 times inverse laplace transformation of Uh, p to the power four upon two p to the power five minus two times inverse Laplace transformation of p square upon p square upon two p to the power five plus inverse Laplace transformation of one upon two p to the power five. Okay. now put the brackets p to the power 5 gets cancelled so here we will have 3 and 1 upon 2 p to the power 5 so 3 times now inverse laplace transformation of 1 upon 1 upon 2 and 1 upon p so inverse laplace transformation of 1 by p 1 by p here uh, can it cancel out we have 1 upon 2p so 1 by 2 gets come uh, here so inverse laplace transformation of 1 by p will be 1 by p means 1 so we will have here 1 minus 2 times 1 upon p to the power n means t to the power n minus 1 By n minus one factorial, and in place of n we have three. So t to the power three minus one is two upon two minus one factorial. Two minus one means one factorial means one plus inverse Laplace transformation of one upon two. We have one this two also here. So two by two and one by p to the power formula will be t square upon one. and we have this two so i have written it here and now inverse laplace transformation of 1 by p to the power 5 will be t to the power 5 minus 1 means 4 by 4 factorial by 5 minus 1 means 4 factorial means 4 into 3 into 2 so we will get the final answer from here this multiply this by a whole by 3 so we will have here 3 upon 2 2 and 2 gets cancel out so minus 3t square and uh, this 3 and this 3 will get cancelled out so we will have a plus 1 upon 4 times 2 8 times 2 16 and t to the power 4 this is our final answer and this is the lecture 1 of inverse laplace transformation in the upcoming lecture we will discuss about some other ex- new types of numerical example and some new ideas so we stay connected with the civil learning online youtube channel and if you guys want these lectures in hindi then do call, leave a comment in this video i will uh, add i will uh, add numerical in hindi also and further uh, if you have guys have any kind of confusion then you are going to, you are free to write me at civil learning on at the gmail.com i have provided in the uh, provided the email address in the description so do write me at, uh, on that on my email 
See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and take care of yourself.